Hey guys, what's going on today? Sean should be here. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Got another video game reaction for you guys. Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC trailer E3 2019. Let's go guys. You already know again E3 is going on and full of full effect. Ah, I wish I was there right now. I really do. But you know, so many good games. Cyberpunk, 27 Gears, Doom. Boulder, again, just too many games. Too many games, and I'm excited for all of them. I've got a couple other games I haven't heard of, but right now, we're on to the main one. My favorite game, Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm pretty excited for this DLC because I'm not sure what to expect, you know, with that, and you know, I loved Kingdom Hearts 3, the game. I kind of felt it was a little short, but again, I thought it's still one of my favorite um, games. I think, out of the whole series, I think... Two or, uh, I think two is still my favorite. Actually, I'm not sure. It's kind of a tie between this. I would give the edge to a little bit more to two, but it's still, I love three with all my heart. And, you know, just the way it ended, uh, you know, it, just, it was a great way to end. And then, of course, the post credits, you know, we see the Masters of Masters, you know. And then with this, so, and, and then Lucia, you know, with the other foretellers explaining. What was your role, Lucia? Okay, I'll tell you guys. I hope you're ready for a long story. Then um, Maleficent and Pete, seeing them from afar. Lucia's got his the Keyblade and the black box. This He's like, hey, I've had to play a role for a long time. And it's finally fulfilled. And now I can focus on the, the main objective. And then, yeah, she was crazy again. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait. But, you know, so without further ado, guys, let's just jump right to this video because I'm pretty stoked and my mind is racing just so many thoughts like of what's going to happen. So without further ado, guys, let's just jump right to the video. And as usual, make sure you guys throw those thumbs up and subscribe. Alcohol reference and fantasy violence. <sighs> let's go, baby. I bet you he's talking to the masters of masters right now. In an awful way. I realize just how necessary I am. Okay, a little... I mean, it's dope. You get to play as fucking Roxas, the boy Roxas. This, I mean, hopefully there's some more new abilities they add to this, but, um. See that? Uh, whoa! It's just like, damn, because we already know who Zigbar is, aka Lucia. But Luxord, I mean, it's just like, I mean, pr before that, you get to play as fucking Roxas, and you know, I hope you get to play as Axel and everyone else. That'd be so freaking cool. The whole gang in this um, DLC. Again, going back to, it looks like the events of the final battle going on, probably. Maybe just figuring out the other motives or just like the there's not so much the hero story but the you know villain story. I mean you get to know the other members organization story. I think I'm not too sure, but I'm curious because you know uh, again feel free to um, joggle my memory or let me know because um, Luxord again I, I'm just, I don't know because you know just uh, who are you Lux again that that begs a question because I mean. Zigbar, I mean, I, I mean, them revealing that was crazy, but, um, I don't know. I'm kind of confused with this, but I'm excited. I'm super stoked coming this winter. You know, hopefully they don't delay it, but yeah, it's coming, it's coming, guys, two winters later. That, that Kingdom Hearts DLC is coming out, right? It's coming. Four years later. You guys ready? You guys said it was coming out like two winters ago. Yeah, sorry. We, you know, Paul got an accounting 
did this and Clarissa, you know, was messing with some stuff. You know, the team was just like, shut up, just shut up, just give me the damn game. <laughs> but seriously, you know, I hope you know it just comes out in winter. There's no delays. But um, again, let me know what your guys' thought on this DLC is because I'm stoked. But again, the question, you know, with that is, you know, maybe we get to for find out more about the Masters of Masters and you know that that and what the, their plan is again, you know. Because, you know, and I didn't, if you guys play the, you know, Kingdom, well, if you guys, um, Kingdom Hearts X, then 2.8, and then, yeah, just the four, um, four tellers, and again, I <laughs> kind of just lost for words there, but I think this is going to be good. It's going to give us more insight of, like, what's going on and what's the story gonna be like for the future and like more just insight of what moving forward of what's gonna like you know, the kingdom Hearts story but um I'm, I'm excited again i hope in this dlc you get the players more characters more abilities unlocked and um yeah get some more story more content so again guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you have anything you want me to react to feel free to leave in, in the comments below or shoot me an email Again, follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Just get down some PS4. You already know. So, ah, guys, it's a great time to be alive. So many good games. You know, Google doing their Stadia um, system. I don't know how that's going to pan out. I mean, I know that, like, the next, um, you know, virtual reality is the way to go. They're kind of getting away from physical consoles and pushing more towards the cloud and cloud gaming and all. Which is cool. I mean, I don't mind, but again, I always prefer, like I always like a good physical co console. You know, my PS is a good physical game disc, but we'll see. But until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Sean Shibby here. Umayowa mu shindeiru. Yo.